I'm Dennis Goldberg, sitting in Cape Town and excited to hear about the opening of the Mandela Museum in the old Bunga building in Mtata. And we have a long connection through Govan and Becky, one of the Ravonia trialists, who was a member of the Native Advisory Council and who led the boycott against it because he said, it's just a toy telephone. There's no real communication. And that brought that council to an end, a very timely end as well. But it's no longer a toy telephone. Now the museum's the real thing. Now it's communicating the values of our liberation movement that Nelson Mandela upheld so vigorously and so consistently for well over 50 years, from the early years of the 1940s and the African Claims document when he became part of the Youth League, through uh, the, uh, 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 his, his, the Freedom Charter, through his speech in the Ravonia trial, South Africa belongs to all who live in, his ideal is a society where we can live together in peace and harmony, and then coming out of prison and upholding this view of non-racism, non-sexism in a democratic South Africa. This is what we have to celebrate, particularly at this time. Because again, having won our democracy, having won the right to build our new society, it's under threat. There are always people who try to seize selfishly power for self-enrichment, and the whole point of our struggle was to enrich our people as a whole, not a small sectarian group. This museum, I'm sure, will uphold those values. Therefore, I welcome it. And I'm looking forward to one day being able to visit Mtata and to see it. I have a picture of me receiving an award in Nuremberg, the city of the Nazi race laws, where they named part of the square in front of the main railway station after a black South African, Nelson Mandela, the Nazi race law city awarding it to a black South African and the ANC sends a white comrade of Jewish extraction. The ironies are complete. But this is the belief system of the ANC, of all our people belong in South Africa, the Freedom Charter. South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black and white together. This is what we're trying to build and we cannot let this go. The greatness of great leaders like Nelson and O.R. Tambo is to be able to inspire people to follow this vision of our new democratic South Africa. Welcome to the museum.